it's a good day. It's a good day. It's a mighty good day. How many glad to be alive? I mean, just glad to be alive with, with all my ups and downs and my, my ins and outs. It's just good to be alive because, you know, trouble what don't last always. Come on, the sun will come out, like Annie say, tomorrow. And we thank God. We ain't talking about the S-O-N. I mean, the S-U-N. We're talking about the S-O-N. Jesus will show up. Let us all stand as we prepare our hearts and mind for worship. For I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. For my feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. I'm glad to be in church today. Let us join the choir as we sing our opening hymn of praise. We've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. Let us all sing. Just the other day, I heard a man say that he didn't believe in God's word. But I can truly say that the Lord has made a way and he's never failed me yet. Somebody help me say we've come. I was leaning on the law. I got in trouble one day, but I was trusting. And he showed up when I needed him. Somebody said. Say it again. Yes, sir. Can't turn around. We've come. We come this far by faith. Clap your hands, everybody. Everybody clap your hands. Will you be so kind to...
turn to someone close to you and just witness to them. Say, I may not know what you're going through, but you're in the right place for things to work out for you. Look at somebody else and say, I may not know what you're going through, but I want you to know that you're in the right place to get things, which get things working for your good. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. To get things working for your good. Went to a service and walked into a Christ. Can I get a witness? You come to a service and you walk into the Christ. For this is the Lord's house. And I was glad when they said, let's go to Jesus' house. Can I get a witness? I said, I, when I woke up this morning, I was glad when somebody said, let's go to Jesus' house. Amen. And I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord. As we remain standing in the congregation of the believers, I'm going to ask if my brother, my son of the gospel, Reverend Reginald Durbin, will come and read for us our morning scripture. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Our scripture text will be found in the epistle written to the Philippians church, chapter number four, starting with verse number 11. And Paul writes, not that I speak in respect of one, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. As we remain standing, I want my sister, Reverend Wendy Zalakather, my assistant, amen, to the pastor. I'm going to ask her to come, and she's going to sing with us the Lord's Prayer in the key of C. Oh, 
detours and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory Come on and raise your hands. presence of the Lord. Jesus struck his disciples and said, when you pray, say our Father. And we say our Father as well, which art in heaven. Amen. I was not gifted in the family to be the singer. My sisters could sing and uh, I could play just a little bit on the organ. But when I get to heaven, they have a line that's giving out singing abilities. And Brother Craig, I'm going to be in that singing line and going to get me a voice and I'm going to walk around heaven singing all day. Somebody going to say, I wish Tommy would shut up, but I'm going to sing. Howdy, howdy, and never goodbye. I'm going to keep on singing. Amen. Until the angels get, get, get a little weary because I just love singing. Amen. God loves singing and we love to sing unto the Lord. God bless your heart. At this time, we're going to ask our choir to come and bless us with selection. At this time, our choir.
Jesus can work it out. While we're trying to figure it out, the Lord will always work it out. He'll work it out no matter where you are. You can be in the parking lot waiting for results and he'll work it out. Can I get a witness? Amen, somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless your choir. It's time we're going to have our prayer. We're going to ask if Reverend uh, Sister Willem, Reverend uh, Willem, me, let me get it right. Reverend Dr. Sister Wilhelmina, all the way from down south, who's come to visit us today. This is Reverend Juanita Mays, beloved mother. She's going to come and pray the prayer of faith this morning for us. Let's just say amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. I know I've been asked to pray, but I got to say something first. I haven't been inside a building in over six months. So when I hear the choir singing, he can work it out. I want you to know he worked it out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My testimony is still the same. He's a healer in the sick room. He's a deliverer. Hallelujah. He's a way maker. He's a comfort keeper. Oh, yes, he is. I needed to be here. Do you hear me? I needed to be here. Pastor, keep the doors open. Keep the doors open. It's so many folks having virtual church and if they got to, they got to. But ain't nothing like coming into the sanctuary. Hey! And feeling the power of the Holy Ghost. Fellowshiping one with another. I can't touch y'all over the airwaves. But right here, I can feel your spirit. And I'm carried away. God bless you. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we want to tell you thank you. I want to thank you personally for traveling mercy. I want to thank you personally for being in St. John one more time. I want to thank you, my God, because I know you're moving all over the world. Father, in your name, Jesus, we need a pandemic of love flowing from heart to heart and breast to breast. We need a love that will cover a multitude of faults and sins. We thank you, my God, that you keep us in the land of the living. I'm asking you, my God, to look upon the sick and the afflicted everywhere. Those behind prison bars, those, oh God, that's on the street that's flooded out with these drugs and alcoholism. I'm asking for your deliverance. Let the Holy Ghost flow from street to street and from house to house, God, and cleanse out and purge out everything that's not like you. I pray, my God, for the body of Christ at large, that we will knit our hearts together, that we will attend to one another in a brotherly love, Father, that will cause each other to grow stronger in you, Lord. I pray for a rhema word. I pray for love will abound in the name of Jesus. I pray for the folks in Ukraine, for the president of these United States. God, you are a deliverer. I know you come on Shatalamosia. I know you are a deliverer. Those people need you, Jesus. And because we are still one in you, we need you today. We need you to girl us up. God, we come against these murdering spirits. Oh, these killing spirits, God. We come against them in the name of Jesus. I pray, my God, you would arrest it. Arrest these demonic forces. In the name of Jesus. Sanctify your people. Fill us and refill us. That we can go into the hedges and the highways telling dying men and women 
We found a savior. His name is Jesus. He came to save his people from their sins. I ask, oh God, that you would bless the St. John family, those present and those that are absent, those that are sick and those are nursing homes. Remember them today. I pray, Father, you would bless Pastor. You would anoint him afresh as he break the bread of life. I pray for your people, God, to band together, that we will learn to intercede and do intercessory prayer, not just for one another, but for the world. We need to stand in the gap for the world. Remember those mothers and children over in Ukraine. God, let your peace abide. In the name of Jesus, work it out, God, as only you can. This is your servant's prayer in Jesus' name. And the church say amen. Amen, amen and amen. You don't know. But I can tell you this much in the building help me say I really love you don't know you don't know you don't know you don't know what when my back was against the wall walked out on me but he walked in I love you Jesus I wish I had somebody to stand up and say I can agree with you Jenkins I know there's a God you don't know you don't know what he done for me. The odds was against me. But he reached down and picked me up. He picked me up when I was down. Turn me around. I've got to let everybody know. Yes, I do. I wish I had about three more witnesses. I said I wish I had about three more witnesses. You don't know, church. But I'm still alive. I'm still alive. We made it through. We made it through. We made it. We made it. You made it. I really love the Lord. This is personal. This is personal. This is personal. You don't know, you don't know. about to lose my mind he stepped in on time I really love I really love you don't know you don't know you don't know (laughs) 
I'm feeling this. Right where I was. Right where I was. I've come too far to turn around. I really love. I bless his name, everybody. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you sitting on a miracle road. See, I should have been dead a long time ago, but you sitting on a miracle. Oh, God. I should be homeless, but look at me now. I should have been in Shepherd Pat, but he kept my mind. Can I get a witness in here? He told us to reach beyond the break and hold on and everything is going to be all right. Amen. Let me move on. I feel a shout. I'm going to move on. But y'all know I can dance for hours. Before he made me a preacher, he made me a praiser. I cannot be sedity. I can't be sainted. Can't be all that in a bag of chips. I can't remember where he brought me from. Can I get a witness? Come this far by faith. And not only by faith, I came praising him. Can I get a witness? Look, don't ever be ashamed of your praise. And if you don't like how I praise God, you it's plenty of room in here. You can find another road. If you don't like loud noises, don't be nervous. Find another road because when I think on the goodness of Jesus, see y'all ain't been nowhere. You see the suit, but you don't know the habit. But I'm free today. And when I think on the goodness of Jesus and all I feel a praise break. And all he's done for me. See, I can't dance for you. I can't thank him for you. It's better that you thank him for yourself. Because what he done for you, I ain't had nothing to do with it. So give God the one who made a way for you to praise. Oh, come on and put your hands together. Somebody scream. Praises go up, I declare blessings will come down. Amen. We're going to move on. I just love. He said, let everything that has breath Everything that is breathing, everything that woke up this morning, everything that walked in church, that has breath, praise ye the Lord. God bless you at this time. Our choir is going to come and bless us with the hymn of preparation. After the selection, it will be the preached word of God. We thank God for a one hour church, amen. Praise God, because I say if you can go to Walmart, you can go to church. You can go to Target, you can go to church. If you, can, if you can go to corner store, you can go to church. If you can go to work, you can go to church. Same God that keep you in those places 
will keep you in church. Amen. I bless your choir. We'll come at this time.
grass withereth, the fowl fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Order my steps in your word. Amen. Thank you, choir, who has blessed us in a mighty way thus far. Amen. Order my steps in your word. It is preaching time. Let us all stand for the gospel. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. We greet you in Jesus' name, those who are watching virtually. Amen. This is the St. John Christian Community Church, 1280s Landville Street, Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, zip code 21202. Amen. You can join us, amen, in person. If you desire to join us in person, our doors are open today. And we would love to have you become a visitor and also uh, a member if you do not have a church home. It is so good to see my friend and brother William. Amen. Sister Diasa and his family. Beautiful family. St. John, let's give them a God bless you hand praise. Thank you for joining us and being with us in this morning. Again, we thank everybody that is here today to give God praise and worship. I'd like to invite your attention to the scripture that was read in your hearing by Reverend Reginald Durbin on this morning. Uh, we are conscious that we have 15 minutes to get this done. Amen? But if I run over, give me a speeding ticket and Jesus will drop the charges and pay for it all. Amen? But we do want to stay within that time frame uh, that we uh, started out with one hour in person worship service and it's so good to see amen my two friends from our sister church the liberty grace church of god sister alexander sister pat can we give them a god bless you hand praise amen in the book of philippians chapter Number four, we're going to be reading uh, verse 11, verse 13. If you would travel with me, I greatly appreciate it. Not that I speak in respect of what, for I've learned in whatsoever state I'm in, therewith to be content. I know both how to abase and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. But I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Let us all be seated in this congregation of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to use for a subject for the time that is allotted to me. I've learned something. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, there's a lot of things I do not know. And there are some things I do know. And what I do know, I've learned it from experience. Somebody ought to give God a hand praise right there. I've learned it from experience. Nobody had to tell me I... I Experienced it myself. This is the Apostle Paul. The Rolling Stones group not long ago, well, it's been a while, a man by the name of Mick Jagger sang the song, says, I can't get no satisfaction. Simply not because 
He didn't have enough money, not because he didn't have enough fame, but I believe that Mr. Jackett couldn't get any satisfaction because he didn't know the one that gives you peace. So many people today are looking for satisfaction in all the wrong places. Looking for satisfaction in getting high. Not realizing that after the blunt has burnt itself out, don't look like you ain't never smoked. Don't act like you ain't never checked the extra tray for a roach. I'm talking to half of you. But once the high is over, gravity say what goes up, you ought to come down. And you realize that you're back in the same state that you're in. Some folk like to sex it out. Trying to please the pleasure of making love. Not realizing that after the thrill, B.B. King says, once the thrill is gone. You looking for the next set of hips. You looking for the next set of injections. Don't act like y'all ain't been down LA. Yeah, those are watching. You, you know, you know. But they looking for satisfaction in all the wrong places. So many people are looking for the right husband or the right wife. But until you have peace in your heart that says, if I'm broke, I'm going to be all right. If I got money, I'm going to be all right. Because I have peace on the inside. People are looking for companionship. You might be ready for the wedding, but are you ready for the marriage? The ceremony is the easy part. And don't you know that when you find someone they change every day. I'm not the same man that I was when I was trying to get my wife. Oh, y'all. Don't let the cross fool you. I'm from 1800 block of Asquith Street. Right down the street, I am hood certified. Can I get a witness? But God, look beyond my faults. Saw my needs. I was searching for satisfaction in all of the wrong places. I've learned something. That when God gives you peace, you have to guard it with all you have. Wish I had three people in here so I know what I'm talking about. Come on, somebody. When God gives you peace in your heart where you say, I don't have to prove nothing to nobody. You can call me anything you want. I know who I am. I know whose I am. So anything you say doesn't apply to me. Can I get one witness in here? I'm secure. I don't have to fight you. I can walk away from you and let you know I'm more than what you think I am. You don't have to prove yourself to nobody but yourself. Look in the mirror. Look at your own self and say, you're a bad boy. Nobody won't encourage you. Say, Negro, you look good. If I wasn't married, I'd date myself.
confident in who you are. Encourage yourself. Fearfully and wonderfully made. You come from the lawns of kings and queens. Do your research. Everything they talked about us, now they getting it. You are somebody. The blacker you are, the better you are. We get dreadlocks, they get dreadlocks. We got big lips, they get big lips. We got big hips, they get big hips. We're confident in who we are. Because God gave me something that the world can't take away. And when God gives you something the world can't take away, all they can do is look at you and hate on you. I've learned something. Life will teach you who your real friends are. Can I get a witness? You want to start, you, everybody is not going to be your, you have to learn in life, everybody's not meant to be in your circle. And if it don't fit, don't force them. Let them go. Can I get a witness in here? Everybody talking about, I'm ride or die with you. Yeah, drop a 50 or 20 in their presence and keep the camera on and see if they can return it to you. I've learned how to be content with a steak or either oodles or noodles. Because what you have to realize, your stomach never complains. It's your taste buds that give you the problem. Full is full. Learn to be content even in a pandemic. Things may get hard. Food may get scarce. Bombs may drop. We don't know what's coming our way but God. So we have to learn how to say these words. No matter what happens around me, it won't affect me. I'm still going to eat. I'm still going to live. I'm still going to survive. Why? Because the God that created me is going to take care of me. He said, I will never leave you. No, I will fors won't fors ever forsaken you. Those are two promises. And God is a God of his word. So we have to hold on to his promises. People will promise you stuff and don't fulfill it. But God said, my promises that I make to you in this book, they won't fail. They are true. They're yes and they're amen. So we can have confidence in him. And when we have confidence in God, we don't fear anything that's not of God. Some people say, Jenkins, how can you come down to church by yourself at nighttime? And we're concerned about you. My wife said, you never keep your cell phone with you. He said, what you don't understand, the drug dealers in the, in the community know me. I feed them. They help us in the soup kitchen. People in the community that are doing what they're doing to survive, they know when you come as a threat. And they know when you come to help. You've got to show love. And when you show love, love will come back to you. came through the neighborhood one time because I'm confident I'm, I, I had satisfaction that God is with me. That one day I pulled up in the parking lot, fellas uh, the pharmaceutical business, say, hey, Reverend, thanks for what you did for the community. We got you. Be 
Be careful how you treat folk that don't act or look like you. Because God can use them to be a blessing to you. Can I get a half a witness up in here? Paul said, I'm going to close it because my time is up, but I want to make it clear to you that I've learned something in following Christ. Paul says this. This is what I learned. He said, I've learned how to be up here where the, the wealthy, the intellectual. He said, I've, I've learned how to deal with them because I went to the one who was the greatest teacher of all times, Professor Goodhead. And not only that, I could speak seven different languages fluently. Not only that, I knew the law because I executed to the full extent, killing every Christian that I could find. He said, I learned something. He said, but, what, but I learned something that was negative. But he said, this is when I really learned what life is about. He said, I was on a street called straight. Everybody needs a straight street. He said, I was on a street that was called straight, and the light from heaven shined on me and knocked me off of my beast. And I said, Lord, 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 have you ever been knocked so hard in life that all the thing you could call on was the name of the Lord? Come on, somebody, keep it real. Have you ever had a situation where it hit you so hard that the only name you could think of was the name of Jesus? When he called on that name, the Bible says that Paul was led blind to a man by the name of Ananias. The same one that was going to be dead, that he was going to kill. The same one that, that, that Apostle Paul was going to kill, God sent him to it. And told Ananias that the one that was coming to kill you, He's coming for help. You was going to do him in, but now he's going to do you in. He's going to put his hands on you, and he's going to pray for you. Sometimes God will turn things around to see how confident you are in your faith and send you to people who have tried and have successfully done you in or hurt you and see how you're going to treat them. Anybody can treat a friend good, but the book says, love your enemies. Pray for them that despitefully use you. Don't respond like the world, but respond like the word. Y'all missed it. You have to respond like the word and not the world. Because the world said, it's my time to get you back. But the word says, for we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. Can I get away? Is it anybody here this morning that the Lord has used what you thought wasn't good for you, used it to work in your good? I wish I had some real people up in here. Come on, somebody. He will turn your situation around. And sometimes he'll use the same haters to come back and to be a blessing. Can I get a witness? I'm getting ready to close this thing because my time is up. But Paul said, I've learned 
something. How to be a base. And I know how to be about. In other words, I know how to hang in the hood without being misunderstood. You got to learn how to be flexible in ministry. You got to learn how to love those that are gay. You got to learn how to love those who are straight. You got to learn how to love those who get high. You got to learn how to love those that go to church on Sunday. You got to learn how to love those who don't do God's will. Can I get a witness? Because what you forgot, what you don't remember, is one day you were sinking deep in sin. One day you was drifting far from a peaceful shore. You forgot one day the master of the sea heard your despairing cry. And from the same situation, he lifted me and he lifted you. Somebody say, Jenkins, how did you make it? I've come this far. I've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, trusting in his holy word. I'm satisfied with Jesus. I'm satisfied with Jesus. I'm satisfied with Jesus. And I have satisfaction. Can I get a witness? I'm satisfied with the way I walk. I'm satisfied with the way I talk. I'm satisfied with the way I live. I'm satisfied with the way I give. Is the Lord satisfied with me? I said, is the Lord satisfied with me? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. How do you know he's satisfied? When I'm broke, he puts money in my pocket. I'm satisfied. When I'm hungry, he puts food on my table. I'm satisfied when I'm down he picks when I'm down he picks me up say yes say yes he turns me around he places my feet on solid ground my hope is built on nothing less then Jesus, blood and righteousness, and I dare not, I dare not, I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but holy lean on Jesus' name, Jenkins, 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 why are you satisfied? One day. One day, I'll never forget, I OD'd, and I was in my mother's living room. I had drifted with some boys that didn't know God, and I was in the living room, and my mother said, what we going to do? My father said, I'm going to pray for him. We took him to the doctor's. And the doctor said, he might not come down. He might stay up there, but stay in contact with the physician and let us know how your son make out. I was at Lake Clifton High School. I was popular hanging with the wrong crowd. But when I got home, see, this is my testimony. You don't know, you don't know, like I know what the Lord, I ain't ashamed of where he brought me from, but look at where the Lord 
bypass me right now. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. I lay there. My mother's here in the living room. And I said, Lord, I heard daddy preach about you. I heard mama talk about you. If you are real, I need you to bring me down. Stop the walls from moving. Stop the butterflies from flying. And I called on the name of Jesus right in the living room. And I said, if you're real, if you all mama said you were, if you all daddy said you were, bring me down. Good God from Zion. And the moment I finished my prayer, the room stopped spinning. The butterflies went away. I ran upstairs and said, Mama, he's real. He's real. He's real. He's real. The Lord is real to me. So many people doubt him, but I can't live without him. How you making it today? I'm confident because of this. I'm standing on the promises. I'm standing on the promises. Can I get a witness? Every day I wake up, I'm standing on God's word. And if God be for you, what shall we say to these things? If saved my life so that I could give him my life. If God saved your life, it's a young brother that comes to church. He said, Pastor, they kidnapped me. He lives in the community. I don't tell people's names. They kidnapped me and put me in the trunk. I said, but I got out. And I told the Lord in the trunk that if you get me out of this one, I'll come to church and give my life to Christ. I said, the trunk popped open. He ran out. His other buddies made it right financially with the ones that had him. And he's alive today. We have to talk and preach on a level where people in your community is dealing with everyday issues in life. God is real. God is he, He's real, y'all. I know most of you know. But those of you who don't know He's real and you need somebody in your life, your daddy may not have been there. You can play softly. Your mama may not have been may have been abused may have been forsaken maybe people said you ain't gonna never be nothing in life just and when folks say that just say remember Lord you did it for that skinny preacher you can do it for me I came to Jesus just as I was when I came I was messed up I was in sin and went to church with my parents. How many know that when you leave mom and daddy, sometimes we act like a nut? I wish I had three people in here know sometimes when we leave the presence of our parents, we do stuff that we, we regret. 
But God allows us to go through it and he saves us and keeps us so that we can lead someone else to Christ. Now listen, I don't want to put anybody on the spot. It's time now for you to think about you. Not about your neighbor, not about what people think, not about what they're going to say, but I'm talking about you. If you want Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior, to help you with all your issues, all your problems, all your situations, he is the one. He's the one. He's the only one. He'll drop the charges. He'll drop the charges. All he wants you to do is be 100. It's too many phony folk in the world, man. We dress up like a million dollars and all we have is two dollars. It's not about the outward appearance. It's about the heart. Gucci can't help you. Designers can't help you. But Jesus can help you. He can help you. He'll reach you right where you are. Now listen, listen. If you're here right now, and I know you don't want to be put on blast or be singled out, but if you're here right now, I want everybody to remain seated. I need everybody to close your eyes and bow your head with me and say these words, Lord Jesus, you know my name. I need help. I'm tired. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm tired of life and what it has done to me. Come into my heart. I need everybody to say, come into my heart. We don't want the devil to get any glory. Come into my heart. Be my savior. Be my Lord. I come with baggage. I come with pain. I come with hurt. I come with disappointment. I come with abuse. I come with misuse. Take it from me and replace it with satisfaction. In Jesus' name, be my savior. Be my Lord this day. Amen. Now listen, if you said those words for the first time, just raise your hand. If this is the first time you ever said those words, just raise your hand high. Praise the Lord. If this is the first time you've ever said those words, raise your hand high. Amen. I want to welcome you to the kingdom of God. You are now born again believer if any woman man boy or girl call on the name of the Lord they shall be saved Satan is mad cause he lost a soul that he thought he had let's give these sisters a God bless your hand praise God bless you I hope something was said and done. I know I went over my time. Give me a speeding ticket. Amen. The Lord will pay. He'll pay. He'll pay it. But somebody, need, I don't know who it is, but I know when God tells me to make a U-turn, I put the blinkers on and go with it. But on today, God told me to say what I said because he sent somebody to church today to hear these words. And if you're here today, and I know my God speaks clear to me, and you've been blessed by just hearing these words and encouraged, raise your hand so I'll know that God is still, amen, speaking to his servant. Give yourselves a hand. To God be the glory. Don't you know God is real? God. He's real in my soul. Yes, God is real, for He has washed and made me whole. 
I wish I had some old saints to help me. His love, his love for me. Oh, I wish I had a witness. Sheila is just like pure gold. Oh, I wish I had another witness. Yes, God is real. For I can feel him in my soul. Kibi, help me say it. Don't you know God is real? He's real in, in my soul. Let us all stand. Yes, God is real, for He has washed and made me whole. Don't leave His love for me. His life, pure gold. Yes, God is real. For I can feel Him in my. As we remain standing, the Lord is speaking again. Please know that your pastor has seemed like as I get older and I'm headed towards the grave the Lord is speaking even louder to me as I'm getting older he is speaking even louder there's a young man here I don't know him he doesn't know me but the Lord is asking me to anoint you with oil because your worst days are behind you the young man right there with the grave jean jacket on you and your partner will you be so kind to come here I just want to want to bless you I just want to bless you I don't want to hurt you I want to bless you I don't want to hurt you I want to bless you yes God is me God he's in my soul I just want to bless you man I just want to bless you. Yes, God is real, for he has watched. When you do what God says, great things happen. Yes, God is. God is real. He's real in my soul. Sing, Sister West. 
Sing, Sister West. Everybody, this is the move of God. Yes, God is real. For he has washed. wanted to be consecrated because they want to join the church young people th these are young people saying they want to join the kingdom of God they want to start out serving him with the oil placed upon their life welcome to the St. John's Church your family God bless you both amen and this is the mama this is the mom up here crying, y'all, thanking God for her son and daughters coming in to the fold. Amen. All right, children, church assistants. God bless you, Sister Sharon. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God is real. And if it's anyone that would else would like to join the church, you don't have to walk down this long aisle. Them days are over with. You want to belong to the kingdom? Man, I wish this was in place when I was young. You know, when I was young, you had to walk down that long church aisle, get the preacher your hand. But now, all you have to do is raise your hand and say, I want to belong here. And we accept you right where you are. Is there anyone here today want to belong? Wow, we got one in the back. Let's give her a hand. She wants to be a member. Bless your heart. She's back. And hey, two of them on this side. Amen. Welcome. Amen. Three wonderful members. Praise God. Praise God. This has truly been a blessed service. Amen. And I encourage each and every one to please stand on the word of God. All of the ground is sinking sand. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Things are going to get better. Look at somebody in your row and say, hang in there. Say, things are going to get better. Look at somebody. Come on, y'all. Say, hang in there. Things are going to get better. Amen. God bless you as we stand for the blessing of the benediction. Again, I pray that something was said and done to impact your life and to cause you to, amen, walk with Christ. So if you have not yet received an offering envelope, please raise your hand. Our ushers have offering envelopes. Sister Connie, thank you, right in the front. Let's give unto the Lord. Let's be a blessing to God's house. Let's be a blessing to the house of God. Amen. I'm asking everyone, let us give so that we can be a blessing. We feed the community. On yesterday, we thank God for the outreach ministry that fed the homeless and those who are hungry. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful outreach ministry here at the church. Praise the Lord. We're asking each and every one, if you would please put a gift in that envelope and let us give God a good gift. What's the gift for? To further the ministry, to keep the lights on, to pay, amen, staff, and to keep the move of Christ moving forward. So please do that. Let us hold that offering up, and as we prepare ourselves for dismissal, we will, amen, depart in the front of the sanctuary and we will give our offering unto the Lord in the baskets that will be in the front as we exit the church. Let us all hold our gifts up. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for this word that was given on today that drawed souls and healed hearts. 
nobody but you could have done it like you did it. And so we give you thanks and praise. Bless everyone that is in this sanctuary. We pray that each and everyone will bring another person with them to church on next Sunday. In Jesus' name, we pray blessings over our offering. This is not the preacher's, this is not the teacher's offering, but this is God's offering used for the kingdom of God. Bless every giver and every tither. In Jesus' name, we pray. And the church say amen, amen, and amen. Don't the deacons look good? They have their badges on. Turn around, deacon. Some of you have your badges. Don't they look good? Praise God. Now may the saving grace of our Lord Jesus, who is the Christ, and the love of God, the fellowship that we have with the Holy Spirit, may he rest full and abide with all of God's people now, henceforth, and even forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We will leave the sanctuary from the front. <laughs>